to read in Joshua chapter 17 in the King James Version. <clears throat> there was also a law for the tribe of Manasseh, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, to wit, for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war, therefore he had Gilead and Bashan. There was also a law for the rest of the children of Manasseh by their families, for the children of Abizar, and for the children of Halak, and for the children of Asriel, and for the children of Shechem, and for the children of Hephar, and for the children of Shemidah. These were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, by their families. But Zelophehad, the son of Hephar, the son of Gilead, the son of Mekhar, the son of Manasseh, had no sons but daughters. And these are the names of his daughters, Mahalah and Noah, Hogla, Milcah, and Tirzah. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, and before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the princes, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brethren. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among the brethren of their father. And there fell ten portions to Manasseh, beside the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh had an inheritance among his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the coast of Manasseh was from Ashar to Mishmath, Mishmatha, that lieth before Shechem. And the border went along the right hand unto the inhabitants of En Tepua. Now Manasseh had the land of Tepua, but Tepua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. And the coast descended unto the river Cana, southward of the river. These cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The coast of Manasseh was, uh, uh, the coast of Manasseh also was on the north side of the river, and the outgoings of it were at the sea. Southward it was Ephraim's, and northward it was Manasseh's, and the sea is his border. And they met together in Asher on the north, and in Issachar on the east. And Manasseh had in Issachar, and in Asher Bethshin, and her towns, and Eblim, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Dor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Endor, and her towns, and the inhabitants of Tanakh and her towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo, and her towns, even three countries. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites would dwell in that land. Yet it came to pass, when the children of Israel were wax and strong, that they put the Canaanites to tribute, but did not utterly drive them out. And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto. And Joshua answered them, If thou be a great people, then get thee up to the wood country, and cut down for thyself there in the land of the Pezrites and of the giants, if Mount Ephraim be too narrow for thee. And the children of Joseph said, The hill is not enough for us and all the canaanites that dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron both they who are bashin and her towns and they who are of the valley of jezreel and joshua spake unto the house of joseph even to ephraim and to manasseh saying thou art a great people and hast great power thou shalt not have only or thou shalt not have one lot only but the mountain shall be thine, for it is a wood, and thou shalt cut it down, and the outgoings of it shall be thine. For thou shalt drive out the Canaanites, though they have iron chariots, and though they be strong. Okay, so there was a lot here as well. Um, listen to this, though, um, about what was going on and what the children um, of Israel were talking about and asking uh, to Joshua and also to, of course, the Lord. And uh, verse 14, And the children of Joseph spake unto Joshua, saying, Why hast thou given me but one lot and one portion to inherit, seeing I am a great people, for as much as the Lord hath blessed me hitherto? And so they asked about why their portion was so small, or where they felt their personal feelings kind of came into play here. And so, jo uh, and so Joshua 
said, you know what? Go ahead and take the hill country of the Persites as well. Because, of course, I, I see that. The Lord sees that. And you will be, you are a great people in verse 17. Thou art a great people and hast great power. Thou shalt not have one lot only. And so bringing past to present, that is a huge example for us. How we can increase our lot. We can increase what we have, what we request through the Spirit. And people think immediately, I hear these verses and this and sermons about economic wealth. That is something that's a possibility, but also could be more earthly, right? So think about this also in expanding one's abilities, expanding one's hope in the Lord, expanding one's faith in the Lord, expanding one being able to be a witness, to expanding one to be able to be that help, expanding your gift even, your gift. We talked about those gifts, how if you are to lead, to lead, if you are to sing, to sing, if you are to heal, to heal, if you are to guide, to guide, if you are a firefighter, a teacher, a policeman, to do it to the best of your ability in the Lord. And thinking about that and how we can ask for an increase even of that as well even of those gifts that the Lord gives us so freely we can ask and know that we will receive so thinking about that bringing past to present before we go on though what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this how does it make you feel and what does it make you think